Hi everyone! In my last video I did my mermaid jewelry so I thought I would give the bees their due. I love working with bee related um, jewelry and junk journal dangles and I'm working on a bee themed ju um, junk journal right now. I'll have to show you some of that in progress. But one of the reasons I love working with bee type stuff is I love that amber honey color so rich and mouthwatering. <laughs> So I thought I'd show you some of the things I've made. This is, I do not like the common term for this. It's called a slave bracelet. I do not like it. I think it was termed because of something in the Middle East. Um, slaves wore these or harems or something. I don't like that. I like to call it a, um, a hand flower bracelet or a hand bracelet. I have a magnetic clasp on these because these could be such a pain to... Um, a fix when you're alone. So think, so I made sure I made magnetic clasps on this, but isn't this cool? So they're also called finger bracelets. So I put a honeycomb and I made all this and have a nice amber glass. Wouldn't that be cool for summer or beach wear? Hello. So that's the hand bracelet, the honeycomb. And I have assorted earrings. I like these because they're more vintage looking in a way because it has the bronze charms for flowers and bees and has that rich amber glass bead in it. And like I said in the other video, every um, earring, I ma earring set I make, I put silicone ear nuts in it and that way they're extra secure for you. This I made asymmetrical. That means one's a flower and one's a bee because, well, bees love their flowers, right? And it makes it cute, different, not matchy-matchy. Here's another set. Now these do match. And they include the honeycomb. Oops, the magnetic is getting that. Uh oh, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> the magnetic captured the bees. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We have a bit of a bee crisis here. That's the only bad thing about magnetic clasps. If they get near other pieces of jewelry, man, it'll just stick right to it. And these have honeycomb charms on them as well. So we have bee, the cute amber glass in the bottom, the honeycomb, the flower. Isn't that pretty? Sorry if I was moving out of camera. I was just kind of looking at it, admiring it. Not really not realizing it was probably out of frame. Hello? Okay, these are called junk journal dangles. Um, if you're not familiar with the junk journal, well, you'll just have to look that up on YouTube. <laughs> but basically, junk journal or handmade journals where people may use junk to make a handmade journal, or they might use ephemera, papers, coupons, tickets, things from their memories, uh, photos, pretty much anything. And the junk journalers, well, we like our dangles that we put on some of the cards tags, spines, and this is a set I have that's more amber color. There's six different junk journal dangles. Aren't they adorable? All handmade. And um, I always include them on one of these big like quilt pins. So if somebody wants to take it off and use them for a junk journal, they can. And this one's more a light color. This is actually butterflies, but it remind me of bees with the color. So, oh, I love this dangle. It has like little stars there. I don't know if you can see it in the sun, like glitters and a flower bead on the bottom of this. So this is more like of a black and gold theme. And then I was, I thought I'd show you this too. This doesn't have bees, but it reminds me of bees because of all the honey colored elements. This is one of those pendants that I was telling you about that I handmade mosaic hand, pen, hand pendants. No, let's try this again. It's, I was gonna say it's Monday. <laughs> Day after holiday. We'll call this a Monday, right? Um, these are flat pendants. And then what I do is I build them up with different micro beads. And I forget what this is called because, of course, uh, brain fart day. Um, fibro fog, whatever you want to call that. What is that called? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, those of you, you who make jewelry all know what that is. You can make bracelets out of it and everything. There is some... I uh, can't even remember this. It's that Italian name, that handmade, it's not Milano, I don't think. Um, special beads. And then I handmade the chain for these. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. 
and a toggle with a flower clasp. Well, it's not a clasp, it's a toggle. Toggles aren't clasps. No, no, no. You put them right through, easy peasy. And I actually made bracelet and earrings to go with it. So I'm selling these as a set. Use the same like figure eight beads. This is um, actually a lobster clasp that goes on the same type of ending. So you can make it for a toggle or lobster. And I made a pair of earrings to go with it. So they all feature that pretty gold tone medallion with the amber bead in the middle. I'm almost positive I actually come to think of it that this was just plain gold and I think I actually glued some chatons. Oh, I remember the word chatons though. Oh, good God. So I actually glued yellow chatons in all those and I forgot. Yeah, and I'm handmade it. So they were just like basic, just gold tone beads. So these are sold as a set. And as you can see, they'll match with their figure eight design chain and um, check glass flowers in these. These are all check glass. And now that's bugging me that I can't remember what this is called. If you remember, say please say it in the comment section. Because doesn't that drive you crazy when you can't remember something? And my mind's going to be chunking on, you know, chomping on that all day. Like, what was that called? What's that called? And it is just totally escaping me. Oh. Anyway, they make beautiful um, supplements to, like, your pendants. And then you build it up with glue. Take some time. I won't lie. Take some time and practice. But, um... If you're in a mood to, if you like to work small, like ATCs or earrings or bracelets or other small pieces of jewelry, you might like working on, on pendants like this because it's kind of like basically jewelry collage. And I enjoy doing it, but oh, it's so hard with my, I have chronic tendonitis and so my hands go numb sometimes. So I don't do that much anymore. So I thought I'd share that with you and I hope you're inspired. Remember to be kind and be wise. And I'm hoping you're having a be beautiful day. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I hope you find that inspiring if you want to make any bee jewelry or bee junk journal tangles or even work on a bee journal. And if you have any of those that you've done, please put in the comments below so I can see what you've made. I just love bee stuff. Um, also, all these will be on sale or are on sale, I should say, at shayboyer.etsy.com or family shop. So if you like any of these, go ahead and swing on by. Either way, I hope you feel inspired and encouraged and have a wonderful day and I'll see you at the beyond. Bye-bye. <laughs>